So with fire detectors, the typical parameters that are sensed are convection heat, smoke, or radiated energy. And the methods of each of these parameters will vary for how they are generated and transported. So as a result, the best selection for the detector to be selected for each expected condition will take these parameters into account for the optimum system design and performance. There are different types of fire and can be in the form of a slow smoldering action or a strong flaming combustion, combustive action. Uh, the plume that extends from these types of fires will vary, uh, releasing varying amounts of convection heat, smoke, and radiant energy. So these factors will affect how quickly a detector will sense a change in the environment with these parameters. Now also, the selection of the detector is important in this regard to ensure that there are not delays in detection of any of these parameters. Music